Hey everybody, Average Gamer here. So today, what I want to talk about is these performance packs bundles. Um, just doing a lot of math and, and looking at it and all that stuff, and looking how much they're costing and things like that. Um, I've kind of thought uh, how they should have actually done this. So if you look at the prices right now, it's 30, 40, 50, and 60. Um, and you only get two max, right? Um, pretty much you get the special edition uh, Raven, Arctic Cheetah, Stormcrow, Hunchback, Timberwolf, Thunderbolt, King Crab, and Direwolf. Um, so all these are special edition mechs, right? Now, catch 22 with these. They're all basically the champion version, just with the S on it. So basically, this is for the person that wants to quote unquote collect them all. Like someone like me, for example. Um, you specifically want to get all the mechs. Um, this is not for someone who wants to just, you know, buy it because they want everything. Or, or just buy it because this is definitely for people that just want to collect everything. Um, it's also for people that just want to have it, to be honest with you. Um, like if they say, like, I want all clan mechs, I'm gonna have to buy all four of these. Um, that's one thing that I found I have a problem with with these things. Um, first big thing is that you should be able to buy each of these mechs separately. Um, if you take the light mech bundle for example, and you break it down, right? Right. So right now they're selling it for 30 bucks. If you click for details, right, it gives you the info on the max, which I like. Um, so the Raven 3LS, it has a, it comes with an engine of 295, etc., etc., etc. Here's all the info on it, but it doesn't say what the max stuff is. So they've actually designed these guys specifically themselves to be the head honcho, the best one. So if we go into the, our light thing here, and we look up its counterpart, the um, the Raven 3L here. So right now the max engine is 295. Um, I have it myself, in my eyes, pimped out of the way it's pretty much good to go with Guardian ECM and two large lasers. I call it my, my stealthy sniper. Um, here, they already have the max engine in it, unless they've tweaked it so I can have a bigger engine. But, if you scroll down, it comes with 30 silver bonus, just like the champion. Guardian DCM, just like the champion. Two large lasers, just like the champion. So, basically, these are the champion mechs. Um, they're not to be mistaken. Any other way other than this is a special edition variant. Basically, this is just for someone who wants to collect everything. As I said, the only, only difference between this guy right here and this guy right here is this little logo. Instead of a C, it's going to say S. And here as well, in the bracket, it's going to say S. Theoretically, with the new nerf coming to the system associated with the skills tree and all that stuff, um, yeah, you'll be able to max out the skills on one apparent variant out of, like, one chassis, uh, from what I've been reading. So theoretically, if you wanted to just have one Raven, and you really didn't want to fuck with it, you wanted it pimped out right from the start, didn't want it to tweak or touch or do anything to it, you buy it for, um, for 30 bucks, and boom, you got all the info. Um, as I said, these are pretty much ready-made mechs. Um, the name needs a bit of a change, which we'll get into in a, little in a few moments. But when you break down, right, if you were just to buy the mech, the Raven 3L, right, um, not talking about the Champion variant or anything like that, all on its own, you have to obviously buy the mech bay. You'd have to buy the pattern and the colors for it. Um, you'd have to get the 30 days premium time yourself, the 1500 MC and the 2.5 million C bills. Um, which you have to go in the store and buy. Now, if you do all this and buy just the one Raven, it's about a hundred bucks, hundred and seven dollars. Um, so I mean, yeah, you're technically getting a bit of a discount. I mean, the main reason you're getting most of it is because of this, this, and of course this right here. Those are the main three things. Uh, obviously, the C bills are pretty good, but with the thirty percent C bill bonus, that's kind of a moot. Um, addition. Um, with the medium pack, same thing. You know, you're paying a lot for the extras, because um, this is the, it's the 4PC. It's exactly what this guy is. Um, if you even look, six energy in the right torso, one in the head, one in the left arm, one in the right arm. Same engine. Um, well, there's the max engine reading right there. It 
it's not... Oh, they missed the line here. So the max engine rating is not here, but I'm assuming if we compare the 4PS to the 4PC, max engine, 275. Um, 9 energy, 1 AMS. 6, 7, 8, 9 energy, 1 AMS. Max engine, 275. Max engine, 275. So, well, yet again, not a major change, not a major modification to anything. These are the champion variants. They just have that special edition variant on it, and it's already designed for for everything. Um, one thing actually I just looked at, I, well actually we should look at, is the quirks. Are the quirks different? If the quirks are different, then that makes sense actually. Quirks. Oh. Hello, you're the different mech, aren't you? Okay, <laughs> I I almost lost my I lost my shit there for a second. Okay, so oh, it's because you snapped over to my other monitor. So we're going to do like this. Uh, additional armor eight, blah blah blah. Energy cooldown seven point five. Energy cooldown seven point five. Heat generation ten. No, it's the exact same. Three, four, five, three, four, five. Yeah, it's the exact same. Exact same uh, quirks too. So in the end, these are basically mechs that they're already designed. I'm um, like, you notice it's running all medium lasers. The only difference is it's got five on the right torso. I loaded up to six. So these mechs are basically been designed with the max engine and uh, max amount of heat sinks, max amount of firepower. And they basically have drawn that triangle between engine, firepower, and heat, probably, and have tried to max out its performance. They basically have built people Metamex. These are basically ready-made, built-in designed Metamex, which I'm going to get into momentarily. Um, yeah, Thunderbolt. Uh, hard points. Yeah, it comes with the three large pulse lasers. Like <laughs> on the, in the left torso. Um, medium pulse, medium pulse, medium pulse, medium pulse. Double heat sinks. It's all medium pulse on this thing. Um, so yeah, so basically these are the meta builds. These are ready-made meta builds, um, which I'm now going to get into. So first off, calling a performance mech um, means that it's better than everything else. Uh, when in actuality, it isn't. It's just been pre-built for you. These should just say, Light Mech Meta Pack. It should just say it up front. This is what it is. It's the Meta Mech. This is the Meta Raven 3L. This is the Meta Raven Arctic Cheetah. This is the Meta Raven 4PC Hunchback. Stormcrow, Timberwolf, etc, etc, etc. They're all the Meta Builds. All they've done is they've gone on the internet, seen what the best build is for these things, and they've done it. Because most of these mechs are built with quirks in mind, a little uh, with their quirks in mind, and what that mech can do. These are not the builds that are used to what's the min, what's the max right now. It's how to maximize this mech's quirks, and you're basically buying it as is. It's it's like you're buying a, a, a car where the person's where basically they're like, do you want to buy the standard version of the car? Or do you want to buy the, far, the part of the car that's fully loaded? CD player, uh, AC, um, you know, AM, FM radio, which, I mean, now is, you know, the you know, big, you know, obviously. Um, you know, car seat warmers, sunroof, moonroof, you name it. Basically, that's what the, the game's now gotten, down, gotten to. You can buy a 3L all on its own. Doesn't have the same engine cap, but the C and the S have that extra engine capacity, and that's about it. And they get that bonus towards your C bills. So in the end, it's not so much 
a performance mech as it's more uh, a time saver. Basically, these are the builds you're going to end up with sooner or later because these are the maximum way these guys can be made under the system as is. So that's what they're doing. They're making these performance mechs. Now, they shouldn't also name it performance mechs whatsoever. They should just do uh, light mech pre-builds. Just tell everyone, this is a pre-built mech with a 30% C build bonus and it comes with a clan mech with it. So these are two pre-built light mechs. And here you go. Now, if they had some sort of difference to them, like since they're special edition, like if they're like, hey guys, just so you know, these mechs are only going to be available for the next X amount of months. Um, the only difference between the S and the C is that the S has an engine cap that's higher. So say the engine cap wasn't 295, but it was actually you know, 325 or 315 or, or something like that, where they're like, hey, if you buy it, there's no real difference. Um... It has a little bit more weight available to it. Um, but we've redesigned it. It comes with a, you know, 315 XL engine. Two large lasers and all the same amount of heat sinks as a, as a champion would. The only difference is it has that special edition, it has a special edition engine on it that makes it more efficient and it's only available for two months. That's what you should do with S variants or special variants. Um, they should have something special about them. They shouldn't just be the champion. Because, I mean, I can go and buy this pattern right here. And boom, now it becomes the, the special edition. Like, I don't know. The, selling the special edition ones, like, right now, if I come into my system and hit special and go to all, I see all my special edition guys. You'll notice that. Resistance mechs show as specials. The Prime editions, or the, well, this is an invasion variant, shows up as a special. But you'll notice that I don't have any champions. No champions. I also have nothing, no lights, uh, now that I look at it. I don't think. <laughs> it's pretty bad, actually. Oh, I got the Panther. But, you'll it has nothing, right? I mean, every one of these has something special about it. Um, it's like, you know, the the Grasshopper. It's actually the Resistance variant. So, I mean, they're going to put special Resistance, Resistance Wave 2, blah, 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 blah. So these are the special edition mech, right? So, technically, the Grasshopper Resistance variant is a champion mech, but they can also build out a champion mech a little differently. So, pretty much now it comes down to do you even need the champion mechs? Well, yeah, because champion mechs then become the special edition mechs, special edition mechs become champion mechs, right? So it's kind of a, a catch-22. If I already have two two ravens, do I want to get the champion edition? Like, say the, the only mech, say the only raven I don't have is the the uh, the 2L or 3L or whatever the hell it is. 3L. Do I buy for free the 3L that just you can buy normally? Do I buy the 3L Champion? Or do I buy the 3L Special Edition? Now if if the 3LS and the 3LC were even different, then I'd think about it. But right now there isn't. There isn't a single fucking thing different. Now, if I go to the store uh, go to Bellamex a light. Go to the Raven. 3L Champion. Out of the box, it comes with two ER large lasers and a Guardian ECM. Boom. Done. 3L, out of the box, comes with a whole bunch of other shit. Beagle Action Probe, Guardian ECM, NARC, SRM6, two medium lasers, and a tag. What you can theoretically do is obviously strip that down, throw on the two ER large, and you're laughing. But that's what it's come down to, is you're pretty much buying the champion mech. Now, if it was a different mech altogether, like it was just the Raven Special Edition Raven, like just the Raven 1AS, or something like that, like an actual, something different. Right now, as I'm looking... The only reason why, personally, I would buy it is the premium time 
Amy MC. And the fact that I want to collect them back in the game. So this is definitely a Pokemon-esque scenario. Where they're basically looking at people that want to collect everything, and they're throwing out these more mechs. It's not a, I wouldn't say it's a money grab. Because if it was a money grab, it would just be the mechs and that's it. That's why they're throwing in the C-Bills and the MC and all that stuff. It's to make you kind of look at it and go, hmm... I already have three Ravens anyways, or I already have four. If I got another one, that would be too bad type thing. In the end, yeah. It's definitely for the Pokemon-esque people, like myself, who want to catch them all, basically. Um, and time, yeah, will I probably buy them? Yeah, probably. If they're on sale later on down the road. Um, but other than that, no, not right now. Since there's no difference to them whatsoever, I wouldn't any right, right now, though, right now. Now, the other thing I'm getting into is the fact that they're calling them performance mechs. It's almost making them sound like they're pay-to-win. Now, they're not. There's no real pay-to-win scenario in this game. Well, unless you buy a clan mech. <laughs> but, uh, calling it a performance mech makes it sound like it is better than everything else. Now, if they came up with a Inner Sphere performance package, does that mean they're all going to be special edition mechs and they're all going to have something better than them in comparison to everything else. Now, if they did a quirk modification to them that made them just that much better, like if all the quirks were doubled, so instead of 7.5%, it was 14% for stuff. Um, like, if, you know, instead of energy cooldown being 7.5%, it was, you know, 15%. Like, if, if that was the difference between regular mechs and these mechs, that would definitely be a performance mech, or a pay-to-win mech, as, I, as I'm seeing it right now. Um, to be honest with you, that would be, that that's the door I feel like it's opening to, because you can, it, since they're calling them performance mechs, um, I don't know, it just sounds sneaky, or it should be renamed, um, ready built or community built and designed, community design mechs. Or, yeah, since, I mean, they went to the community and said, hey, how can we build out some of these guys properly? And how can you give us our champ some champion builds? And now all of a sudden they're coming out with the special editions, which are... Da -da -da -da, the builds everyone sent them in. So, yeah. Anyways, that's enough of a rant for me. It's been about uh, 17 minutes, almost, almost uh, 18 now. But yeah, so this is just a quick little video on my opinion on these quote-unquote performance mechs. Um, the fact that they came out of the blue, um, right after they added the quote-unquote special edition button, kind of cheeses me off a little bit, um, which means they had this plan for a while. Um, the fact that they had to push back the Black Knight because of quote-unquote of, of issues and stuff like that, I think it's funny that all of a sudden these guys just pop up. Um, though I will admit, every month you'll notice... There's always some sort of mech thing going, put, being put up for sale. There's, they're always pushing out mechs and things like that. Um, what I would like to see, definitely, is uh, you know, is 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 map fixes, more maps, um, tweaks to gameplay, uh, game modes, um, heavier mechs. I mean, there's only one one there's there, there's only one real big mech, and that's the King Crab, right? There's the King Cab, the Dire Wolf, and the Atlas. They're the bigger mechs. I want to see bigger ones, though. Bigger ones, like the Orca. And I think one's called the Fratten. There's something like that. I can't remember what it's called. But they're you know, the big motherfuckers. Um, there's one that actually looks like a King Crab, but it has a huge fucking cannon on top. Would love to have that. It's like literally a mech version of a tank. Um, those wouldn't be too bad. Obviously, they'd have to create bigger weapons. But also that, just that, you know, let's bring in heavier weapons. Let's bring in heavy lasers. Like, heavy large lasers, heavy medium lasers, heavy small lasers. You know, let's, let's bring in more weapons. Let's let's make it so that, you know, the weapons are a lot differently. You know? Um, uh, you know, the finishing of Community Warfare. I think it's funny that they said that the, uh, everyone in the office was working on Community Warfare, which is a blatant lie. No, they weren't, because people were creating these things. Um... But yeah, anyways, um, enough of that rant. I'm going to go eat a lasagna that my girlfriend made me. Uh, I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield. Bye-bye. <laughs>